I think that was the whole point. All right. We are going to call um, to session the work session for the Parks Commission for the City of Coos Bay, May 2nd, um, a little after 4 p.m. We'll start with roll call. Will Kirk Fenler? Kirk Fenler, Parks Commission. Carmen Matthews, Parks Commission. Eric Clough, Parks Commission. Coco Sutton, Parks Commission. Mike Pat, a member of the public. Aaron Lyons, Parks Commission. Faraday, yeah. Parks Commission. Greg Hamlet, City of Coos Bay. Christina Texture at City of Coos Bay. <laughs> and Amy of Coos Bay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we will start with uh, public comment. If you'll introduce yourself and then let us know. I'm so sorry. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, my name is Mike Powder. And my, my pure interest is um, trying to make it more accessible and more, more usable around the whole area for the cyclists and pedestrians, which is greatly lacking in this area. Um, even our parks have very little action, you know, very little. So there's the four bikes, there's not very little bike parking. There's hardly any routes to get there that are safe. Um, I live up by Empire Lakes, and it's uh, you can take your life in your hands to get there on bike. Um, once you're there, it's fine, but getting to and from these places is, is really needs attention. And primarily, I heard, I've been told that the, the bike lanes and bike infrastructure is coming under the park department, and I'm basically here to try and push anything concerning that because it's, it's to me, it's, I think it's very important to get to get away from this cars everywhere type business that we're suffering from. Here. So that is pretty much. Uh, might be here. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we are going to, I don't see any other additional public comments, so we're going to just dive right into the work session. Um, I know we've discussed a, a few other things to, to maybe discuss today, um, but um, our focus uh, for the first part is to get through the Mingus Park Master Plan Review because um, it's been on our agenda multiple times. So let's focus on that. And then there's um, a few things that uh, have been emailed to me and talked to me about that if we have time, we're going to get through those. Uh, so but let's dive right into the Mingus Park Master Plan. Can we do an intro? Yeah. 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 introduction to the Mingus Park Master Plan. This is the first time we've done a master plan for an individual park. Right now, we have several grants that the city has been working on. And most of the grants fall under the state comprehensive outdoor recreation plan and funding from the state and historic preservation or uh, local government grants or different various grants. And they're all under the state parks. So one of the things that happens when you go for a grant is they want to know certain questions that are usually contained either in your master plan, your parks master plan, and it, they're going to compare it against the state comprehensive outdoor recreation plan. So the first thing when we started looking at this the other day was in the front when we did an introduction. We don't have this in previous, our main park master plan. I think we put a, a verbiage on that. But one of the things we want to look at is we want to make sure on these areas that have yellow highlights, there's a, those are questions. They're not things that are going to remain in here for editing. So reserve the page. This is going to copy the last one of whoever's on the board, et cetera. But we want an overarching document that at the beginning says something about not only who we are, but keeping in line with the state outdoor comprehensive plan because there's $28 million a year that gets funneled through there. And we'd like to partake in that. So we want to make sure that we're mentioning those key elements that A, we've had surveys from individuals in the community, which we did, that we know what's in our parks and we identify them so that when we go out for grants, somebody looks at the master plan and goes, oh, well, the historic WPA community building wasn't in the parks master plan for years. So a lot of people don't even know that upper reach of the 55 acres of Mingus Park exists. And that's an area that can get us access to different grants, such as land water conservation funds for drainage for the pond, et cetera. So when you see these pages that have the yellow, if you can look at those things and let us know if you want to wordsmith something in there. And that and the rest of it was basically photographs and dividing the area into those different planes that we looked over that were maps from the city. 
Everything else in this are appendices, and those can grow as we get more documentation. For example, if we got a new sign or something got brought to our attention that was documentation, maybe a deed, because we have been talking about getting deeds for the property. And I believe that in the grant that we're doing for yes. all of ours, right? They want to see a copy of the grant. And that's helpful if we have a deed in here because sometimes we want to do something and there's a deed restriction. It could have been an endowment or something that limited that. So those are just things to keep in mind as we look through that. So take it away. My suggestion would be we just go through it by page by page yeah. and see if there's anything that we need to change. So we could start on page two, which is the, which is I guess that general statement that you were talking mm -hmm. about. Right, and a lot of this is just you know twenty eight million dollars sounds like a lot. But it really isn't. When you look at 36 counties in Oregon and all of them have state and local things, um, and some of those are biennial. So I know the little yellow thing says an overview. So what you have typed there it basically covers that requirement? That was something that I put in looking at other plans that people have specific to this park. But if someone looks at those two paragraphs and says, I gave you the highlights because that's like outdoor recreation is important to Oregonians and provides benefits, health benefits, things like that are very much in the top of funders' minds. Overcrowding and pressure on resources are increasing. Everybody wants things in a tiny space. Uh, access, opportunity, and participation are still inequitable. And when we talk about that, that can be anything from uh, the type of facilities that are available in certain cities or areas and they're not available in others. It could be um, ADA accessibility. It could be uh, demographics that are low income that you know don't have things that get kept up in their community. So those are some of the elements that are in the score. And I just took things off of previous park, the regular park master plan and information that we have so does anyone want to see something more in there? Because I'm, it is a focused document on. I'm fine with it. I don't okay. know if everybody else is. Yeah. I'm fine with it. I think, I think most of us have gone through the document. Okay. So I, I think. All right. We're, it, I've got some enough. things on page three, the next yeah. one. Yeah. And does that give you enough resolution for page two? Do you, do you right, so you the yellow is going to go away, but if that's that's kind of our statement of acknowledgement and compatibility with Oregon score. Okay. And do you have an objection to that being the title of this section? No. Okay. Page three. Yeah, I have a couple of things. I mean, sure. some, of, some of it's wordsmithing, and if you don't, I was a science major, so if you don't like it, it's cool. No, that's fine. Go for it. So uh, we start out in Megas Park, 55 acres, fully developed. You know, that sentence ends West uh, 10th Street. Um, the very last paragraph talks about the land from Megas Park and how it's required. Rather than having a very last paragraph, I thought it might fit better right after that first sentence of West 10th Street and then make a new paragraph for the, par for the next sentence that starts, the park has a pond as its centerpiece. That way, the history of the park is right up is there at the front? top part okay. of it. Yeah. Well, like and, then, and then that new second paragraph where the park has a pond and whatever, I would, after picnic areas, um, I would put- Okay, wait a minute. Um, so we have the first paragraph is the 55 acres west 10th and then the last paragraph. And then the last paragraph. And then the new paragraph is the park has a pond. Right. Yeah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. We know lamp post is two words. Yeah, these, these, yeah. And and in that new second paragraph after picnic areas, I actually would put in, uh, you know, you're listing what's there. And I know we have a separate paragraph for the scout cabin, but I would put in where the, I would put in community uh, meeting building. And then I put another comment. Um, I would put event stage because it's not mentioned at all. Okay, so we're going to put. And these are just suggestions. Okay. You don't have to change. Done. No, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah, so we're having a playground. Uh, what was the stage? It, it, play, it could go playground, picnic areas, community meeting building, mm -hmm. common event stage, and, and then the rest of it, and extensive walking trails. Maybe, yeah. and go with the rest of it. 
And then the, 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 the new third paragraph where we have there is also a community meeting hall, we could get rid of there is also a and just put the community meeting hall because we've mentioned it up above. It's not an also. I'm sorry. And the stage. No, okay. okay. Well, you want, do you want it mentioned as that's a natural amphitheater or are you talking about a physical stage? Oh, I, I, you can put in the National Amphitheater, okay. too. I didn't know how, how wordy you wanted it to be. So, the, again, the third paragraph then would just start the community meeting hall and historic it's WPA scout. Yeah. Okay. And then the third sentence down, uh, right after the Paul Bunyan Park starts the third sentence, it says, the cabin is eligible is. I think we got too many uses. Okay, hmm. Second is out. <laughs> And is eligible. Okay. Okay. Um, where it is here in Mingus Park, I mean, we have it as early spring of 2023, and that's fine leaving it that way. I don't know if you want to change that because I know there's some, there's at least one thing in there that may have been accomplished since spring of 2023, but I just put that out. Okay. So the, the next section is where is here yeah okay the purpose of the planning section of Angus Park is to show conditions of the park so, as of that time because the photos that are in here uh -huh. are taken at that time all except the ones I took okay so are you proposing then that we change I, some and put new photos no I, okay. I don't I'm not I don't think probably there's much change as far as the photos are concerned to tell you the truth okay when you look at them I think they're all the same mm -hmm. I'm just saying is if we're gonna this is 2024 it's the mm -hmm. spring of 2024 and if we're in it we might as well make the document as current as possible yeah agreed so I'm I'm just saying that whether so, so could we say that um recreation in areas as of early spring 2023 to current and then, all, and then we can get some photos in there as, as we need. But yeah. I mean, the goal of, of today is to get this document comp uh, completed. So. Yeah. Okay, too current. So, okay. how about the purpose? And then where it says, as of early spring 2023 through current yeah. spring of 2024. I don't know if it needs to be that. Is that way, but it, it and it could even be fine being left to spring spring. I'll put spring twenty twenty four. Okay. Most of the photos that are in here, if I have a name or a date, I hook it. I give photo credit and a date. Yeah, I don't give it credit. Mine are the tennis courts and a couple okay. other things. Yeah. Um, and then very last one is page. Who will maintain assets? Yes. The bullets. The first two seem like they're the same. Yeah, I think I remember comments. Okay. Or. Increased demand for diverse indoor and outdoor recreation experience. Increased demand for diverse access and inclusion. Okay. Okay, so what they're saying is there's people that come in and they say, oh, I'd like a sports arena. I'd like a sports center. I'd like a soccer arena or whatever. And we use a, uh, a synonym for adverse so, or diverse so we don't have diverse, diverse. Keywords in grants for what? Diverse. Mm -hmm. Inclusion, diverse, equity, transparency. Mm -hmm. Those are, I mean, over and over. What's the other one? There's five words that you're going to see over and over and over and over and over. Can we can we do then just change it so the words aren't so so increased um, demand for inclusion and diverse access? Increased demand for we can say um, various indoor and outdoor recreational experiences. Okay. The first one. Um, diverse access and inclusion. Then that's perfect. Has to be in there. So we can do that. Perfect. Don't look at me. I'm not. I'm looking at you to see if you have any additional helpful insight. No, I'm done with that page. I don't know okay. if anybody else got anything going on. Anything else for page number three? Oh, thank you. So much. Oh. Thank you. Fast in. So I guess we're on to number page four. Yes, yeah. and so the last paragraph, though, that's not bullet pointed. You stay along volunteers and partnerships or fast in assembly plans. I don't know if I knew it in the ways of extending recreational opportunities or parks. That's that one's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now we're in the next section. 
predominant challenges. This section, especially the, the yellow and the blue, are just information to show you what is being looked at in this section. Your grantors are the same people that you've gotten grants from in the past. So it's no secret that we're going to see a lot of vandalism all over the state. Um, and one of the things that is being asked for now in a lot of the grants is what is your plan for maintenance, vandalism, wildfire mitigation, on and on and on. So we know we have challenges because it came back in our surveys. Um, so I just put a placeholder to see what bullet points you want to put in because if someone says we have no challenges in our parks, your grant's going to go to the bottom of the pile and you're not really representing the status on the ground. I gave an example of a Cal Poly study on parks in urban areas, which is what our parks are. They mainly tend to draw people that are low income because they don't have the ability to get in a car and go to hoodoo skiing or go on vacation. It's also people with families, people that are disabled, people that are elderly because of access and it's in their neighborhood. Keeping that in mind, on the bullet points, three or four bullet points of what the predominant challenges are. We know the first one is drainage. That's been that way since 35, so. So it'd be beneficial for you, for us to come up with three or four other bullet points yeah. that you would the, like to see. That are what we've been hearing from the community. And we can't use words like exclude these types of people. That's right. not acceptable. I, I, I think so definitely on what we had on the first page is um, uh, making the park feel safe for all, for inclusive and safe for a variety of activities and people. I, I think the this, this section that you have in blue already, just the, that blue section by itself yeah. could be a bullet point. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I think, what was your intent, right? Yeah. You, you don't say anything about the unhoused. You don't say anything about anything, but basically all you're saying is you want to make sure that it's safe and you want to make right. sure the public is, a, is aware that it's a safe okay. place to be. And we yeah. don't have to itemize or we do have to itemize. That's the question. I mean, you can say people, in other words, what are the main safety concerns that people have? I gave some examples. I, I think those are the, the main safety concerns that people okay. have. I mean, yeah. I think when you talk to people, they bring up one or all of those. I items. know, but I just wanted to make sure because there was some feedback that I got from people that they didn't like some of those words being included. But if they're your challenges, if they're your if challenges. If it's going to get us $28 million, I don't really care. <laughs> okay, so we're basically going to have a bullet point that said, um, this uh, dispelling unsafe perceptions, and we can wordsmith that down. So we want to make sure that our parks are perceived as safe. I think you need to add a wordsmith. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's a quote from quote. another. It's a quote. So he has to modify it, so and I can it, modify it, yeah. or I have so to quote good. that. Yes, we're exactly like the Cal Poly study, which yeah. I'd rather yeah. not do. Right. So I mean, <laughs> this is in the library senior year when we're not quoting everything directly, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so safe appearances. We do have vandalism. We do have the waste issue, littering, alcohol, alcohol drugs. Um, some people had objections to public sex. I don't know if you've had to clean up some of the things in the parks, but well, I, uh, I, and lack of routine maintenance. I didn't necessarily have an reaction yeah. to it. I just commented on it. I thought yeah. it, was, it stood out as kind of weird. If you go behind the schools and you have to pick up prophylactics um, and needles, but if you don't want that in there, we can just say other nuisances. I mean, littering and alcohol. Okay. Drugs, you know. All right. So everything except that. Yep. Yep. Okay. okay. Before we leave this page on the first bullet, we yes, talked about drainage management. Yes. I mentioned this before as far as if most of the trails, if you want to call it that, um, or at least the two that I'm two or three that I'm thinking of, follow the the, the fall line rather than a contour. In other words, there's mm -hmm. there's trails that add to the sedimentation erosion yeah. and erosion. Yeah. Um, 
And I don't know where we put that. Well, where it says the need for comprehensive drainage, we can put and erosion because the trails yeah. are contributing to the erosion and not having them done properly. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we can say okay. drainage and erosion. Yeah. Maybe, erosion uh, control. Maybe sediment and erosion control. Yeah. 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 Sediment and erosion control. Drainage. Then we're set up sediment. for uh, the grants to look at things like yeah. and proper and erosion. OPRD and the trail yeah. control yeah. program that they grant heavily to. Right. And these that's why we're looking. The words are important in these things because if these are our key challenges and these are the grants that are usually your biennial grants. Mm -hmm. And they started recontouring that area in 1935, and it's undergone all kinds of, you know, it's all the long truck trail, and that's our trail where all those were supposed to be permanent. Okay, so we basically have the need for a comprehensive drainage, sediment, and erosion control management plan, yep. and the rest of it's okay. Yep. Yeah. And then the second bullet point would be reword smithing, because I'm not going to quote directly all of those things that will be moving the public. Yes. Acts. Is there any other predominant challenge? This is not asset specific, it's predominant challenge. I, I think those are all of our main concerns. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, the individual ones are listed in each section, but when I look at the whole part, that makes uh, the two that are there for right now makes sense. And the, the fact that it's landlocked by an urban area and it's in a you know an urban growth area but it's not included in the urban growth the urban uh renewal renewal is there okay. anything we want to put in about uh, invasive species yes i think that yeah. okay so we so, need so um, about, okay uh, parrot's feather parrot's feather and i was thinking more specifically ivy we need a, a invasive weed management plan and mitigation. Yeah, okay. it'd be nice. And, to uh, invasive find. species also includes the nutria. Correct. Mm. Yep. There was one of the comments I had when I first reviewed this was the um, somebody, a group, I don't know who it was, has been going in there and uh, weed whacking the riparian area of the native species. And that has allowed reed canary grass to come in there. So now what was old growth skunk cabbage, quite beautiful in my opinion, has now been whacked down with blackberries and reed canary grass coming in there. And that seemed a bit of a minor tragedy. You know, so I think that, that kind of bitch was okay. That hasn't happened this year, has it? No, yeah, that's pretty. It's happened at least year. twice over the last five years or so, I know, because I remember talking to Coos Watershed about it at one time and finding out who did it. And I was kind of curious about it, but. Yeah. So I, I think uh, invasive species, both plant and animal wise. So all of and, 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 and then a revegetation of some of the um, uh, natural okay. landscapes. So we have an invasive Bacterian. plant, tree, and wildlife management plan to include reintroducing a restoration a restoration of native plants. We we don't have control over wildlife. That's ODF and WSU partnership. But that's that's fine. You're talking about what your challenges are. But I think that restoration. Covers so yeah. to include restoration, is that open us up to some of those tribal grants too? Of native. Mm -hmm. plants. Okay, so those are one, two, three. I have a question. Yeah. And I'm going to address this to the city because you would be more familiar. On the maps that you present, they show the urban renewal area. And hopefully, do you think we need to make a statement that this park is excluded from the urban renewal area and funding? Because some of our parks are not. And this park, for some reason, was not included. Everything around it is urban renewal. And I want to make sure that no one looks at our maps and goes, oh, they're there in the urban renewal. They should be able to do that and, light and by. So the Mies Park is excluded from the urban renewal area. Correct. That's what so, I. Yeah, I'm saying it is. Yeah. Yeah. Our map is clearly. It's noted. clearly yeah. denoted. Okay. Actually pull the map up okay. Right. So as long as that's something that we can show in our things, because I didn't want somebody to look and go, oh, well. No, can it be in the appendix? Yes, on the appendix, we are going to have maps, but I didn't know if that's something that you think we need as a predominant challenge. The reason I'm saying it's a predominant challenge is when you look at the new, for example, the beautiful fence at Ed Lund Park and the new signs, 
at uh, Lawson Taylor and at Lund, those are brought to you courtesy of the fact that we do have urban renewal funds that can do that kind of stuff, but not in this part, even though it's in the urban renewal area. Okay, I'll leave it. Let's move on. Well, the, on, the only other thing, I don't, I agree we don't need the urban renewal thing in there, but you know, if we're talking about, and as I'm sitting here, we're talking about big challenges, I think adding the invasive species was a good one, but um, do you want to put anything in there about the funding and resource challenges? Everybody, the funding and resource challenge for this part could be that issue. I, I'm just saying, if what's an overreaching, what's an overreaching or comprehensive difficulty that the park say faces? It faces not having the resources. Yeah, well, and, and, but it's a balance too of, of asking and applying for grants, and and then they're like, well, why are we going to give you money? And you're not going to be able to maintain it. Okay. So, but I mean, that's that's just a balance I'm, piece. I'm of fine it. with leaving it out. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. So, okay. uh, I mean, just to, for clarity purposes, Taylor Watson is outside of our local area. It is. Okay. I was going to say that urban renewal districts are pretty restrictive because when we did the expansion of the library, we actually, the downtown one, we actually extended the urban renewal district to cover part of that property. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I know it doesn't go very far that and, and anyways. And mm -hmm. the Empire one's not all that big either yeah. because we expanded the urban renewal park to get part of where Toppets was so that we could build a library in Toppets Park. Right. right. Yeah. And somehow, I mean, urban renewal can be expanded, but it's I, got I, a reason I, why it's not there because this was downtown and there's yeah. a reason why it's not in. So that's being caught too far in this because I know this is just kind of a quick discussion. Okay. But the urban renewal agency or areas, there are limits as to how far you can yep. expand it. And I think right now, so my understanding is we're close or near to that expansion. The expansion the of that. And, and, uh, and it's a huge process. It is. Yeah. And you're compressing your regular tax base, yeah. you know, yeah. you're held to that. So anyway. event parks, everyone's open with those are the predominant yeah. challenges. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I, event map one. I mean, in terms of funding, I would just say uh, funding struggle. I believe this was the last edit that I had that I gave to Amy from people that gave me updates, correct, Amy? Are we on page six? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I, there's a, you know, the second bullet down says pond with islands in the clinical area, area. So that's cool. And then a number of bullets down below that it's Mingus Pond Northeast section with areas including Rockwork and Border. They're kind of similar. I don't know if they needed to be separated out. If they do, that's cool. But there's an aerator down in the southeast section down near the playgrounds that's not included in the playground section. So I, I'm just that's all I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And then and then I would also say that we don't have a bullet in there for things that we've got up above that tear up above so here's the swimming pool the slope goes up there's cedar that goes around the top there are picnic tables and fire pit up there okay am i correct and map one or fire pit okay but our park you're not supposed to have any fire but, but there's picnic tables up there right there, yeah, there are yeah, yeah, yeah. Garbage yeah. Can. so i don't know if that need when you're listing the different Offered recreational mm -hmm. opportunities. I guess you could list the picnic tables up there as well. Okay, so on that one, what I will do is remove the second bullet point. Um, I will remove the northeast and section. I'll just say Mingus Park Pond includes, I believe it's two aerators. Is that correct? There's two in the water. Two aerators, including and one rock work okay. and mortars. And one still would be in work. Yeah, one is one in, in the island. Maintenance. Right. So okay. this part five includes is there a total of three or two, it, two aerators? Uh of the aerators? Yeah. Right now currently there's two in the in the pond. I think okay. we always only had two. I think there's uh there is a space for a third, uh, but it hasn't been used for my understanding quite some time. Yeah. When I first started, it was none in the water. Uh, well, my goal was to get the two put back in, which we did. Because yeah. um, mosquito issues are rampant in there, but. Well, that and then also the parent's feather does not like uh, mm -hmm. moving or oxygenated, highly oxygenated water, which we need. Okay. Uh, so, should I put three aerators or. Let's, can we just put aerators? Okay, yeah. let's just put includes. 
I'm old. There used to be three. There used Aerators. to be one up closer to the island. It, there is, yeah. it is still an it is island. Still there for we still have a third one there. And we may not get everything, but we do want to include just these are some assets we have. And it includes aerators, an island, and rock work order. Is that all right? Yeah. And you can include the picnic tables or not. On know. the last one. Yeah. yeah. I'll put it before trash receptacle. So it'll look like Ooh, it's There you go. Um, and then, you know, I told you when I was saying, well, this is as of spring of 2023, mm -hmm. one of the priority repair items, number five, is a new boiler and heating system for the pool, which you got. So Take maybe you don't need that item in there anymore. Okay. Or can we put completed spring? You, you can. Uh, you can put, so they, yeah, you can put. So completed. they can see that we're doing Ooh, progress. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. completed yeah, spring 2024. Yeah. And and then while we're doing that, I'm a little confused about when we're, you know, in just about every section we say insert and it's the appendices, the plants and the in the mm -hmm. and the memorials and all this stuff. I'm not quite sure how you envision that working, what your revision is for each one of these sections. Are you gonna insert something in each one of these sections? No, we're gonna reference, reference the page number. Okay, cool. But we don't know what the page number will be till it grows. Okay. Okay. And number seven, I just had some, uh, some concern over the concern party. Um, it has been the vision of this board, uh, even though this board has changed many times, to eventually tactfully remove the memorials that are in Mika's Park. Um, but that has always been kind of a, a difficult. Um, I would like at the very least remove the word placing new. Yeah. Um, because we're not putting any more new cemetery plots in the ground. Thanks. So we want to say concern over upkeep. A, yeah. Of current memorials throughout the park. Yeah. Because it yeah. was random placement. I I I agree with you, and I had marked that out placement of new because you told me at that one meeting when I asked, we don't do it anymore. Not doing that. Okay, yeah. So on but this it's one, not. It's I never saw that written down anywhere. So but then yeah. I would I would get rid of random placement and consistent design criteria because we're not putting any more in. Yeah. So we don't okay. care so about. We're just going to say concerns over upkeep of current memorials throughout park. Yep. All right. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, wherever it says insert, that's because there's something that we have a big uh, 40 page thing. If someone yeah. says, What did I know? What is a memorial? Or they are. Okay. Now, some of the inserts have not been done, but they were asked to be done for years. And that's the vegetation survey. Yeah. There's, he has one. There's some trees. There's some memorial trees, correct? There are. Yeah, there's, there's yes, memorial there's trees. memorial trees. And so, I know one that was recently planted. Yeah, so those are things that we so talked about. The memorial but bench 24, there. someone planted a tree there. Okay. The big one is the so we're, we're scrolling school. through. These are all just pictures, yeah. and they will be compressed and whatever to fit so we can, you know, at least show what we had. I'm on to page 12. 11 is the next area. Mm -hmm. I, I'm on page 12. I just get rid of other because we, if we don't know what it is, we probably don't need other. Yeah. And I like the idea of a, a, a bicycle parking structure. I mean, I, we didn't put best location, but I like the idea of some bike parking structures and mm -hmm. places in the park. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether yeah. I, I think that's a don't, don't get rid of that yellow mark, I guess is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I think just remove best location. Okay. Places. So bicycle yeah. parking. The following list of priorities is by one of them is bicycle parking structures. Yeah. Plural. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, remove other because nobody had anything else. Okay. Any other items in 12? And some of these areas may not have an insert, but some of them may because different people have different things. Okay, so those are pictures. I'm on to 21. Well, uh, at 14, I will have that there's a note that says consider doing an inventory of all signed clusters. So, I mean, we should do that, but I I don't think we're feasibly going to get that done in the not so soon. Well, what was suggested, and that's a question when we get to the end, is how you want to handle appendices when those things get completed or do you want somewhere in one of these sections that says we are going to complete sign clusters because that was something that's 
I think let's just put that on the list of tasks to do under one of the sections. Okay, because in e every section has sign clusters. That's yeah. the problem. So a note to me would be in every section put inventory of sign clusters. In other words, in each section, there's varying signs. Yeah, no, and we none don't, of them are anywhere. You guys don't have the similar. digital or a barcoding signs, correct? You're not like ODOT. Okay. Okay, well, so we that's. Have, we do have, have brand new signs that, that, you know, a bunch of these little signs, they have all the same wordage mm -hmm. in this big sign. So some of these lower signs, our goal was when we did okay. this, is to eliminate some of the signage. Okay. Because we did all the bar rules. And, yeah. We did it, I think, at every part, didn't we? Yeah, okay. seven, seven parts. So, is it okay if on each section under the section that's called list of priorities, I can say inventory and address sign clusters as needed? Sure. Okay. So, all priority sections. And then just remove that note from page 14. But the one thing that I thought about in number, I, I want to move to 21, but I'll, the one thing I thought about under, on item 12, page 12, since it's the main interest, this, this doesn't really go in there. This is just a personal thing. Um, I, I wish when people came in that park across 10th Street, there was something there that showed them where everything was. You know, a, a kiosk type of thing with a, that showed them the scout cabin is up here, the event thing is over there, here's where the playgrounds are. You know, here's where the Choshi Gardens are. So, in, so when people park in that parking lot by the ball diamond, they walk across. And here's this nice little thing that shows them where everything is. So, could that be sign clusters and wayfinding? Okay. So, what I'm going to put in all priority sections is complete assigned inventory and repair, replace, or or in and um. And install wayfinding. install wayfinding. Okay, but the wayfinding map would be on the section where the ballpark is, is what you're asking, correct? Yeah, but it's like um, a nice, like when you come in from another direction, and it says. I think, I think that the intent is to have it on the Minkus Park yeah. side of 10. That's what I think. Ball right. Yeah. And that's on. I mean, which sections, so that I can put that 12, as a separate, that's 12, a separate on page 12. Page 12, because okay. that's the section where you've got the main park. Okay, okay. so yeah. we'll have that on all sections. And then additionally, we want a wayfinding under other, we now have another. Okay, wayfinding. And one of these days would be nice to have one down in the Broadway thing too, to basically show all the things in town, art mm -hmm. museum, libraries. We talked about that with Brandy. Didn't they get one? I think I think those are number. So for now the 21 since I keep interrupting. Layout. Okay. So on number 12 under the bicycles, I put wayfinding sign for park layout. That's yes. a little cool. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Next. And then we're removing that note from page 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then now we're on page 21. Um, for me, the second bullet down, asphalt and gravel parking areas. I think we've talked about this, and I maybe even asked once before. I don't think there's any gravel parking area there. I think it's all it's all asphalt parking area. Oh, there is a gravel parking lot area mm -hmm. by the disc golf. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're not at the disc golf area. This is by the ballpark. Yeah. Page twenty one. Yeah, park. not the gravel parking lot. It's just degraded. It's just, it's, it's degraded. I'm talking about the section in one corner. It looks like gravel, but it may have been asphalt. It's not so, beautiful. Papers, permeable in. <laughs> Was that permeable pavement? Permeable pavement. <laughs> the green parking lot. Pay a lot of money. Yeah, I don't think. I guess what I'm saying is, in that bullet. So of, should I just say parking area? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, it was gravel because there's nothing. There's, nothing there's there. no gravel there. Yeah. yeah. At that, yeah. I don't think it was. I don't think it was intended to be gravel. Parking area. So. So, and, and, and that goes with number two on things to do down there, that number two, maintain and repair gravel area parking. Well, it, it's not a gravel, we don't have a gravel parking area. We may have an asphalt parking area that needs to be maintained. We have an alligator. Maintain yeah. and repair parking, number two, noted. Yeah. That's yeah. good. There we go. Except number one says maintain and resurface asphalt parking. So it's kind of a duplicate if you do it that way. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll so that's okay. Well, the directional and air arrows for traffic flow. 
Do you want it to just, that'll be a separate item. So we can, on number one, is maintain striping and directional arrows for traffic flow. Uh, yeah, 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 you can do whatever you want. Because repairing parking is one thing, but you do have ins and outs that at one time had arrows on there, and they're not there, so they don't. But it says resurface asphalt in there, too, so it's both. Are you talking about? Actually, what she's saying I'm is sure. number one would be maintain or... Um, the following list of priorities on page 21, number one, I scratched out and said maintain striping and directional arrows for traffic flow in that, in that section three map. Okay, so you took out the resurface asphalt. That's, yes, and then number two, maintain and repair parking. Took out that one thing. Yeah. Okay, that works fine. Moving down. Okay, um, uh, number, number 12, and you can do it, it says maintain all fencing and cluster signage. I, I probably would get rid of maintain all fence because we've got maintain the fence on all the other things um, um, above there. Maintain court fencing. Maintain, you know, we have we have the fencing all over, but being in there is okay for sure. However, I had the question about number thirteen. I was the one that uh, asked about that. That whole yellow section, number thirteen, should be deleted because staff told me that that's public parking up there. It's not park property. Okay. So we should just get rid of it. Okay, so there's fencing around the skate park. That's a separate fencing area. And then there's fencing around the tennis courts. Um, so do you just want to take all fencing out and just say maintain fencing, existing fencing? I think leave everything in the, the different categories that's up above because those are probably going to be done in separate sections. And number 12 can just be the cluster signage verbiage that you're using in each section. Okay. How about number 25? Page 25. Okay, and then page 25. The rest are just photos, unless somebody had something additional. Okay, and then well, this is actually page four. That that weird space on the side of the sidewalk that goes right next to the mm -hmm. skate park, mm -hmm. like broken up asphalt. Yeah, that I mean, I get that it's there. Mm -hmm. I feel like that could be something different someday. Um, Are you talking about? Uh, oh, you know, the, yeah. yeah, the the bang that is you got the sidewalk and then it goes down and into the skate park and it's this uh, broken up concrete. Mm -hmm. and I just feel like um, I don't know. It, doesn't mean well, or anything. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I think hopefully my goal is to at least on that end of the park is to, to evaluate the fencing, the landscaping, the structure, all of it, yeah. and just mm -hmm. do those pieces. But we're highlighting the individual items that yeah. we know are concerned. So on section three map, are you wanting an additional thing for that? Uh, I think we'll just leave that. We could we could add erosion control. Because that's that's what yeah. they're there for. Because the from the sidewalks and the curbs, that's public works. That's not the park. Yeah, but it's yeah, not the sidewalk it. necessarily. Yeah. Talking with the space between the sidewalk and the, the yeah, 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 that's yeah. public so right. It's a slope that holds it's the a slope that's of right the right and all that. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, or it's a it's kind further of further to the west mm -hmm. where it's the down the cut slope. So the sidewalk is up above it, and we have the concrete as part of the recreated, yeah. the recreated yeah. concrete area. Yeah. And so, that'd be parks, or that'd be smooth that out, make it part of the skate park. Yeah, I'll like to make it pretty thick ass little. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm not sure where that falls, whether that's yeah. within the park or with that cement. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was put there for the sidewalk. Anyway, so on 125, that's the place where we didn't have the exact maps that you previously seen. So I did obtain the one on page 26. So I have a couple of things on page 25. Okay. Uh, next to the last bullet on the top, again, because we're talking about recreational activities, mm -hmm. um, we've got maintain the gravel parking lot. We probably should just say gravel parking lot and then add down in the bottom. Okay, so fire. there isn't a gravel parking lot or there is? There is. So we should just say gravel parking lot. That's a, that is a, oh, that it's is a, a list that of is amenities. A, okay. And okay. and then down below, I would add a number four. Correct. And then down there, I'd say maintain gravel parking lot. Okay. Because it is kind of holy. 
<laughs> yeah, I saw you guys had gravel delivered at least on the driveway down there. Yeah, we graded the whole thing. Yeah, good. good. All right. It was really nice. Pretty sure it's like a break Looks really good. Okay, and then and then right under that, the bullet that said maintain gravel parking lot that we just changed to gravel parking lot. Okay. Um, there isn't any signage at the intersection of Hemlock and 13th. And so that shouldn't be there as something that we've got. It was a suggestion by me. Mm -hmm. If you go up 10th Street and you hit Hemlock, there's a sign on the side there that says this golf course and it points down Hemlock. Mm -hmm. I live on Hemlock. People go down there. They never know where to turn. There is a, there is a sign at the intersection of Hemlock and 13th, I think it is. There is not. It's just in the bushes. Okay. Yeah, I think it Whose is bushes are they? Let's cut them down. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's the, the neighbors. Uh, but we can definitely go and address open up that. There is a there is one there. But it's just, I think it's been, you can probably see it. You just got to look. Looking straight at it. Okay. Is it. Is it on the road that goes in? Yeah, there's. I think there's an arrow that points towards the. Okay. Uh, because because when I'm out in the front yard working away, people always drive by and say, "Well, where is the disc golf course?" Because they don't. They get on Hamlock, but they don't know to go down that dirt road. I live on the corner of Virginia and Fenway, and I people ask me where the beach is. So hey. Okay. It's never going to go away. Make a left. All right. Okay. Any, any other items on page twenty-five? Moving on to page 30. Okay. And that one, we need to find a map. I'm assuming somewhere the city might be able to help me. Isn't there a map somewhere of the layout of that garden? I've seen the architectural plans in your... There's a brochure that you started to... Which page are we on? Sorry. I'm on page 30, and unlike some of the previous sections, I can never find an event map or trails or anything for Choshi. I know I've seen the original architectural plans from Pro Play Associates when they laid it out, but I couldn't find anything. So if that's available, we could certainly put that in. We can look. I, I, I... Because I know they reference like this is a bridge that has a certain name. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put a note on here. And then any other comments on the the amenities or the maintenance? We're just looking for the map on that page. Yes, and I'll ask Christina. Thank you. All right, page 34. Yeah. Oh, oh um never mind, that was added. Uh, uh, our priority repairs, the numbering needs to be changed. We start okay. at 10 and go to 22. Okay, where are we now? Uh, page 34. Page 34. Okay, I'm sorry I'm not as fast as everybody's talking. Okay. <laughs> sorry. All right. Um, page 34. Thanks, Carmen. Yeah. Yeah. Event map six. We, we want 400,000. Yeah. We oh, do. Believe me, you've got an advocate right here. Um, <laughs> So if we in, in priority repairs, we started at 10 and go to 22. Okay, so we started. did have an event map here. Um, although the tennis courts that are up above here, I couldn't find anywhere. So, so, so anyways, did we change did we change on page 34 the number? Yes. Because it starts at 10 and it goes to 22, and it probably needs to start at one. Okay. Then the other thing on what currently is number 17. Yep. It says repair damage from 2021 hazard tree impact south. I would say impact on south classroom area. I put it. It on. does say that on my copy. It doesn't say it on mine. Okay, on page 34 on my copy, it says repair damage from 2021 hazard tree impact south classroom gable area. Yeah, on south. Is the impact south? Oh, okay. So you want it to say impact on. I'm sorry. I yes. just South classroom gable area. Okay. And then we do we have additional comments on the accessories or on the, the repair list. I mean, this is a section that we've talked about quite a bit because it is it's done, we've done quite a bit. Is there any let's oh then we got one more. 38 and 30. Okay, go ahead. Coco, do we want to add the the latest editions. Uh, which page? 34. Okay, which section? The bullets. Okay, the above. So you wanted to add 
you would want to. Okay, those items we're trying to get an MOU because those belonged in the past to this, yeah, to yeah. Scouts yeah. BSA, okay. and we've never had MOU, so that's a separate yeah. issue that we're right. looking out because the city doesn't really want to be in possession of selling firewood or storing yeah. firewood or any of that, but because the 1998 um, I don't know, we need money. Yeah. Resolution. Revenue. <laughs> no, we had a 1998 resolution and a historic relationship, so we were making that whole and also mitigating damage that was done and moving it out of work zones and hazard, etc. And we had generous volunteers that rebuilt those. So. No, I think you guys did an excellent job. There. Okay, so I don't know. They're there, but they don't belong as... Okay, if that makes sense. We're cruising short on time, so we're going to click over to page 38. Yes. And question is that I, little trail that goes from the tennis court area up to ocean court, ocean court yeah. is that on? I don't think that's part? a designated trail. No, I think it's yeah. outside. I think it's just a app. Yeah, might have been a game trail before and mm -hmm. it's just been used. Mm -hmm. Okay. Used by the folks up there. Well, I know that trail. Where am I running? I know that yeah. trail. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have any maps or anything of that upper, of the upper reaches? The tennis courts, I didn't have anything. I mean, they're they're well used, um, but and that parking area is part of the park. So I do like to see if we have any. Other okay. Ones. Because I think the park even goes a little bit farther north than the end of the tennis court. Mm -hmm. Not too much farther, but a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then, in general, is there any other additional information that is needed to complete this document? That's our ultimate goal. I've, I've got something on page 41. Okay. Okay. Well, let's talk about 38. Are we done with 38? Mm -hmm. Other than me seeing if we can get the area map. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that one's done. Got the pictures, you know, that sign. My my only comment on page 41 is again from, from me being with the library and also walking the park quite a bit. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of that display for the library. Those have all been removed. Okay, why were they removed? Vandalism and water. They got water inundation, they weren't sealed as well as they should have been, and they also suffered. Okay, problems. so you want on page 41 remove the first photo? Yeah, because okay. they aren't there anymore, they're okay. gone. Yeah, those, those unfortunately those readers, whatever you want to call them, mm -hmm. informational readers. Mm -hmm. I think it's a story uh, intention is telling a story as you're going around yeah. the park. I think all of them were, were vandal uh, almost within mm -hmm. the first two weeks that they were. They were. Mm -hmm. I think the library's got them stored away somewhere, but yeah. but they're not there. So I didn't think we wanted a picture of. Them. And this is just a, a placeholder because there was talk of getting a sign inventory. Um, you don't have a sign. If you were the state or a agency, they have actual barcodes. Now they use the QR barcodes and they inventory everything. We don't have that capacity. So this is really a placeholder. Do you want to just keep it as a placeholder when that project is done or do you want it removed? Because um, this is the appendices section right now. I think it's on the list of tasks to be completed, so we need to we can remove it and then only have okay. it as a finish to meet. So we'll remove this case. Okay. Okay. So page 41. Okay, and the tree board information is taken right out of the city's website. I'm assuming that hasn't changed in terms of. I think the only thing in the tree board would have been the three tree board list was on hand to be worked on. This is, I think, 2000. Which isn't included yet because that had been. Uh, 2023 is the last note on the team that's on this. Okay. And then this was the approved tree list that's also from the street right of way. And we had discussed many times about an approved tree list for the park. Yeah. So this is not necessarily a park approved tree list for me as park. This was just from the city of Coos Bay, Oregon's website. So I, I noticed on the top here on page 49, or gold letters 51, mm -hmm. whichever page number you're looking at, uh, it says trees not to be used as street trees. 
uh, no evergreens on public streets, such as in the this those. Right. So these are trees not to be used as street trees. Right. The approved tree list that was uh, that was uh, recommended by the tree board uh, for approval has not been uh, approved by council yet to date. Okay. So. So do you want this question? section removed is the question. I, I don't see a uh, need to have this here. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I think this, in my opinion. The, okay, this these were just placeholders from previous, you know, meetings that we've had about getting trees because people were wanting to put memorial trees and we wanted some. And, and yeah, we. Okay, so that's going to be removed. All righty. So new kid on the block, can I ask just a question is, if someone wants to plant a tree in the park, is the tree board getting involved in approving the tree? Typically not within the park, only if it's a street tree. The tree Thank board you. is supposed to be for street. For right of way. Thank you. There's a former tree board member, and I did not put anything about the memorial process in here, because I don't think we have anything definitive. We had brought that up later, so I left that out. So that page will be removed. These are the items that were courtesy of the city for the benches and things that are specific to chosen. So I just took it from what I found. And then page 55 is a location of markers that the city gave me and then the following are photos of the markers. Now, not all of them are memorials. Some of them are uh, the Lions Club International, for example, I think the NASA maybe. There's different organizations that also have acknowledgements, I guess is a better word, for their um, monetary or other work that was provided. And that is all that I have in appendices. And we were looking to get some maps to show the whole like, here's the park, here's the trails. That would normally go in the front like we did on our master plan, but I don't know what we have. Beyond just this tan map. Right. Yeah. I mean, so do you want something like that in the front? In our park master plan, we have the, you know, the different maps of the city, and then we have all our parks. Do you want a map in the front, which would be right after the page two, it's normally where we've had them. That would be the 55 acres so that someone could see it before they actually read, or do we have something like that? I mean, I know we have topo maps and all kinds of stuff. So I don't know what kind of map. Do you want like a trail like map? asset map or a trail map of, of what's inside Mingus? Yeah, like something that's just so that they can get an overall visual. So like something like this that, that shows the streets. Goes, yeah, and goes know. all the way up to like the scout patterns. <laughs> the streets and and... not the head of the uh, disc hall. Yeah, it just it shows the whole comprehensive. Yeah. Thing. Even if it's just the city map that just has that one. I think that would be fine to keep yeah. going with it. I don't think we need to go any further in depth, otherwise we're never... Well, I, yeah, I think yeah. for us, our concern is, is, you know, we can go through, we can... He builds them out of their system. We can plot a scheme to get all the assets. I think some of these items, uh, you know, like park benches or... No, no I, 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 think, I think we, we yeah, I think yeah. it's like kind of what's on this tan map, the bridge, the pool, the amphitheater, the restroom, like that's it. Right, with that together. And, and, the, and the streets, yeah. the streets that are around the park that are. I, I think if you did a, like a wayfinder sign, you would want to put your picnic area, picnic tables yeah. on that piece yeah. of it. Not but for the map that's in the that. front of this, um, the maps that are in the park master plan are a little different because they're just the whole city. So I was wanting to know, do you want a map or not? You don't have to of the 55 acres that encompass me. I part. think we should do a, a whole comprehensive map because if people don't live here. They, okay, so that would be here. Good. Yeah. All righty. So what I will do is I will... Um, Rework this 
get it to Amy, and then it will just get sent out to everyone. I can't tell you a time because I have to get yep. pieces. And then generally the city is the one that formats it to match the formatting because everyone has different versions. Uh, that's why a lot of this looks weird is because my version of Word and somebody else's version of Word yeah. is different. So ultimately the final formatting and proofing will be done by the city, but I wanna get it as close as possible to what the elements are and the information in here. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I guess in summary then, Basically, since we had the work session on this, we really kind of discussed and hashed it out. We know exactly what we want. And so when we have our next board meeting uh, on the 16th, we can just, this comes out ahead of time. We can just also say yay or nay and not really go through the whole plan. Yes, again. yes. Yeah, that's, that's the okay. point of the work session. Is so because once you do these, you don't really amend them or add anything to them. That's why I'm asking these questions for 10 years. Yeah. So... With that question that Kurt just asked, is that something that could be ready by the, the 16th? We have to have it a week prior. I to think June. this is going to be June. It's gonna this be June. is going to be in June. Mm -hmm. But to speak to you to your benefit, yeah, it, it's just a voting yeah. item. Because I, we, we, this is one of those items that we kick down the road a bunch of time and we spend 15 minutes on talking about a meeting and we could maybe be talking about something else. And so for the work session to be successful, is that we should just be able to approve or disapprove when we get to it. Right. So I think, yeah, the next one, we do this, this body will be asked to make a recommendation for uh, approval, and then we'll take that recommendation for the approval to council okay. uh, for adoption. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so once this is adopted, if it's adopted in June of 2024, it will not be revised until 10 years. Yeah. Is that to match our previous, mm -hmm. is that how you want to do this? Okay. So it would be so uh, right now, as I understand it, staff is being requested to see if we have any um, Mingus or Chochi Garden has built or a map of Chochi mm -hmm. Gardens, uh, either tennis court has built or a map of mm -hmm. the tennis courts, and to create an exhibit of the Mingus Park proper with more yeah. streets. Correct. Okay. And you don't have to send it to me necessarily, but I can work with Amy and then Christina was gonna find one item which is yes and then we do the deed that you found is that the deed for just that upper reaches because I know it all came it's the I've entire ten yeah there's a bunch of different deeds that's each of those parcels were uh, it's it's parcels. right like the uh, these courts were needed right ways to this Okay, so here's a question. I personally was thinking about this, and I don't think the deeds should be in here. I don't think the deeds should be in there, but I think they need to be. We need to know where they are for the city, and we have a whole box with them. Um, but I don't think they need to be in this document. There's different reasons why I think that. Um, reference. Mm -hmm. They just need to be referenced. Right. We, we just, know yeah, we know where they are in the city. There's a box in the vault that's got all of them in there. And during COVID, they were going to scan them electronically. They're in there by date. So they the do one thing that they get is the which is what I want to add because an electronic number. It is okay. Because that was something we're working on because it, the only thing we could do is put by date when each parcel came in. We know the first was 1925. Yeah, I don't think that's necessary for the Okay. Time. I don't either. All right. And, and I think if a grant document wants it, then we provide it for the grant document. Yeah. But mm -hmm. for this public document, I don't think Okay. All right. Okay, so we are at 508, so we're going to wrap unless we have any specific questions from city staff to get this document to where we need to be. Well, I just really appreciate everybody's hard work and effort on this. I mean, it's just, we've been trying, we, we've been talking about it for a long time, and I'm glad we got to this point. It sounds like we're getting to a point where we can actually make the dive off the diving board into the water. Um, so I, I feel good about where we're at. Okay. Perfect. Um, there were a few other items that we were going to talk about if we had time today, but we do not. So um, they will likely be on the agenda for next in two weeks for our regular meeting. And if not, um, there'll be commissioner closing comments at that meeting. So, but luckily by handling some of these larger task items, then we can focus on some of the items. I know our agenda is already pretty full for next week, um, but then we'll go from here to the next. Two weeks, right? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah.
Two weeks. Oh, right. 260. Now, my understanding is this correct that the June second or whatever June sixth work session is full setting. Correct. That is what we have scheduled so far. Okay. So yes, um, and up. then part of the discussion um, that will continue uh, in two weeks is how is the agenda set for each parks commission meeting, not mm -hmm. necessarily just the work session. Um, and part of that is um, we can look at some of those items during our work sessions to see if there is additional items that need to be added to the upcoming parks meeting. So, but we can dive into that a little bit further in two weeks. Um, from there. Yeah, well, this is a concern, concern to me mm -hmm. because uh, I tried to get some things on the agenda and it didn't go and I was I felt like I was misdirected to an extent. And then I also think that we when we have agenda items for the commission meeting, we need time to have established time constraints on them mm -hmm. so that we don't get bunched up and have to end up saying, well, we have to shorten public comment or we have to shorten this or that because yeah. it's not fair to mm -hmm. all the other commissioners who put in work on other items. Yes, no, I agree with you. Typically, um, in the past, we've not had as many items to actually discuss, so this is kind of a new issue. Um, public comment, um, if we have a full agenda, um, I think we do limit public comment to no more than three minutes, um, just because we don't have time to have that whole section. And honestly, someone can spew out in three minutes um, what they've come for. And public comment, yeah, there should be limits on public comment, just yeah. like the agenda items should have time limits. So in order to facilitate a productive meeting. Yeah. And I feel that this year we'll probably be having a lot of work sessions because there are a lot of things that were pushed back and we turn over. Mm -hmm. And then if you'll notice, there's a lot of the uh, people that are on our board where their terms are, are going away this year. So you know, they would reapply if they wanted to reapply. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind if you know somebody, because yeah. okay. like, I just looked at that and there's like one. You know, they try to split it. It's supposed to be half and half. Two, three, four, yeah. Because the 20, I don't know when it's the 2025, but it's supposed to be half and half. COVID, maybe? I don't know. Oh, okay. okay, Mayfly Festival. I'll, I'll bring it up next time as well. Okay. 18. We are going to have a participation as park commission, the Dopp Park and the Community Hall Historic WPA Scout Cabin will be open. We are working with the Coos Watershed and Jamie walked the trail along with the Myself today, and um, thank you to Lance and the city for um, putting some gravel and things in there so that we can make sure that people can look at the upper part of that watershed. So, if you can come support, um, I'll have a information for the next meeting and the comments. Thank you. All right. Uh, any additional comments? I feel the need to make one more additional yes. comment. At the January, and this is going to take us back to the Sheriff's project that's been pr proposed for a couple of years now we've been working on. We made some great progress. And in January, Parks Commission voted to accept or the, the final alternative route was voted to ask city staff to proceed to the budgeting part of that. And as far as I understand, when, when, when the Parks Commission votes for staff recommendation to do something, they then it then goes to city council and city council says, well, who considers it? And, and either says yeah or nay. But that was never done. It never made it to the city council meeting. And the mayor and or the city manager weren't even aware that there was a final alternative chosen. So I feel like there's a procedural problem with that agenda item. And, and I think we need to, be more cognizant of how we're handling these things. It's not, it doesn't feel good to have that dropped. And then now we're in a phase where we don't have time in our agenda items, our, our, our meetings and our work sessions to bring anything to the floor. So it, it's a difficult position, I think. So I just want the commission to be aware that I think that issue was dropped. I don't know why. Or how exactly, but I don't think it should have been. 
fully appreciate you bringing that here and part of having the work session is to add more time to the key stuff. And um, I am working on being more cognizant of pushing the meetings through um, so that we have time for each of the agenda items. Um, and that's something that I've been made aware of as well. And then also, I don't really know what happens when people have stuff. I I don't either. So it's kind of a new. I'm new to the game, and so I'm trying to understand how. That so if work. there's a recommendation that's presented by the Parks Commission, it goes before the Public Works Director. The Public Works Director has a final decision to take it either to uh, the uh, Council or send it back to the Commission. So you make the, the, the decision as to whether to move that forward or move it back. And that's the, Director, the Public Works Director, really across the house. So. Yeah, I can definitely find out where we're at on that yeah. January. Uh, I wrote it down January uh, Parks Commission and find out where that landed and, and, and also if you're going back right. uh, at the next commission. Okay. Part, part, of my rec part of my recollection, and remember I'm old, is that um, <laughs> we, we may have asked for uh, an assessment as to what the cost would be. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure we're saying this goes to the city council right now. As we opposed to, point. we wanted to see what the cost, the potential cost was for doing that. We can hold the minutes. And do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, exactly. and I did look at the minutes, and you can see that. So you don't have to rely on your old, your old memory. You can look at the minutes and see mm -hmm. what was recommended. So, fair. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And we are adjourned. Thank you. 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 Thank